I'd like to show you the magic in farm machinery. When you think of farm machinery, I bet you think of a tractor. But why do tractors look like they do? Tractors have comfortable, soundproof, air-conditioned cabs for long working days in the field. Tractors have glass all around so the operators can have clear visibility of everything when he or she is working in the field. Tractors have that yellow satellite receiver for picking up satellite GPS signals for the steering and guidance. A tractor like this one can automatically plough, plant, fertilise and spray without the operator having to touch the steering wheel. Tractors like this have big wide tyres to spread the weight when they travel over the fields to help prevent squashing the soil. On the front here we have a place where we can attach heavy weights so that that counteracts the weight of any heavy implements attached to the rear. Tractors have lots of lights for working late at night in the field in the dark and for also getting home safely when the job is done. Let's look under the bonnet and see the engine. There we have a big fuel efficient diesel engine that's very strong and very powerful. Tractors have big cooling systems on the front to keep the engine cool when it's working hard and stop the massive engine overheating. This is where the fuel goes in. Tractors have enormous fuel tanks. This one holds 20 times what you get in a normal family car. The front of the tractor is where all the power is produced. The back is where it's all used. This is the three-point linkage, which is used to attach implements to, where all the power is used to lift and tow implements through the soil. This bit here is called the drawbar. This is where we hitch up implements in the field and also tow trailers along the road. Tractors have skilled people to look after them. They are trained in computers, diagnostics, electronics, hydraulics, and that's what it takes to keep a tractor like this in good condition. With all these features, tractors have such an important role on the farm.